So uh, first off, congratulations on your new film, Sergio, that it de debuts on Netflix on April 17th. So congratulations and thank you for taking a little bit of your time and talk to, to, talk to me uh, with all that's going on. So uh, congrats. Thanks, man. My pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Barker, I know you did a documentary about uh, Sergio Vieira de Mello uh, back in 2009. So I was curious as what spoke to you or inspired you to go back and say, you know, I did this already, but I'm so inspired by this guy and his story that I need to do a feature film now. Can you tell me a little bit how, how that came about? Sure. Yeah. I mean, yes, of course. Um, yeah, it's an unusual process. But to be honest with you, I always saw it as a feature film from the very beginning, from when I first oh. encountered the story back in 2005. At the time, I was a documentary filmmaker. Uh, we were in the midst of, uh, you know, the Iraq Civil War. And so Sergio's story was felt very relevant about, so I made it as a documentary, um, feature documentary, which premiered at Sundance for HBO. Um, but his personal struggle, his his ability to see the world very clearly, but but and to engage in the world, but also not be able to see himself very clearly um, and be authentic with those closest to him, spoke to me, and I saw that that was a a kind of a, a dramatic story that I wanted to to convey, and I wasn't able to do that in the documentary, um, and but it was uh, it was a story for me that had to be told through through a feature film and so it was a long journey but uh but i honestly yeah. always saw this version of it from the outset cool mr mora uh sergio de viera de mello was a uh, inspiring committed and passionate person uh he also was a complex and, and not perfect so did this attract you to the role and what aspect from his persona and work spoke to you and inspire you i mean to do the yeah the Absolutely. I think this contrast of, uh, of a man who was trying to save the world, but had at the same time a very complicated personal life was sort of fascinating for me. And, and, uh, and I think that this is, um, uh, Serge, I, I, we, we tried not to uh, portray Sergio in the film as a, as a superhero, but as, yeah. a, as a guy who had a lot of flaws, who couldn't spend time with his kids and, you know, had a complicated, like we said, a, a personal uh, life and it, it's a very tragic story because it's a man who discovered you know love and peace in the last years of his uh, of his life uh, but of course i was <clears throat> as a human rights person as well i was very attracted to the fact that it, it, this is a film about a man who dedicated his life when he was killed he was the high commissioner for human rights and dedicated his life to a very high level uh, high uh, values like i know i think in the end of at the end of the day this is a film about empathy which was a quality yep. that sergio had a lot and and given this coronavirus crisis now we can see that yes. it's lacking a lot in the world leaders and also i have to say this film begins as a as a as a as a more ambitious uh, project, which is to produce films about, as you're a Latin guy, to produce yep. films about Latin people that don't reinforce stereotypes. You know, and I think that Sergio was a, was a good first step. So uh, before going, uh, with all that's going on with the coronavirus and stuff, your film actually debuts uh, perfectly, I guess, uh, that people can see it on Netflix safely from their home and in, in their homes. So besides inter entertainment, what do you guys, both of you, want people to take from this film while they're watching safely at home and from this from this guy's story, which is incredible? I mean, I think Sergio saw more human suffering and okay. than anybody of his generation. And yet he remained an optimist, looked for things. He didn't try to cast blame or but he looked for practical ways through very complex problems and uh um I think that's what we need right now. I mean, I think his story actually, you know, can speak to our moment. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's a strange time to, to be releasing a movie. Um, <laughs> but I think we understand our world through narratives, through and the stories we tell each other. And uh, I think, I hope his story speaks to people in this moment. Yeah, it's pretty much the same for me. I think, I, also, I think that this, uh, uh, I really believe that you can make political films that at, that are at the same time entertainment you know and uh, 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 
and I think that Serge is pretty much a film like that. You, you can you can you can understand how important this guy was, and 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 the importance of the values that he was carrying uh, 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 for us nowadays, especially like we said in this crisis. But <clears throat> at the same time, it's a, it's a love story. It's a, yes. it's a, you know it's it, it, it's it's a story that we can connect as a, as a, as as moviegoers and and uh and uh yeah and i'm very proud of it i'm very proud to make a film about someone like him and and uh, if we if i had to summarize what this film is about this film is about empathy and i think mm -hmm. that this is a very important uh, thing to talk about now so guys i want to thank thank you again for taking a little bit of your time and congratulations again on your film sergio which debuts on netflix on april 17th before going mr mora Tuviste excelente en la serie de Narcos, así que saludos desde Puerto Rico y excelente trabajo en esta película también. Así que, Gracias, take care, guys. Take care, guys. Thanks, and uh, stay safe, guys. You too, man.